Ah, there he is. He's hiding. <laughs> so, yeah, a little bit late today, guys. Sorry about that. Just um, only just woke up and we're trying to sort a few things out before the start of the stream. So, hopefully, everyone's enjoying themselves. And I'm just making sure everything is actually live on my phone. And we are live. Yay. So, yeah, as you know, last week we got the white tailed deer. Unfortunately, didn't have anyone decide on what to actually hunt, so I looked at Leighton Lodge and it was like, right, Canadian or uh, roe deer. So we're here at Hishfelden and just doing some hunting. So mostly going to be shooting some Canadian geese at the moment, and then uh, probably go out and look for some roe deer on the drink times. <laughs> oh, they're going to be fun. But hopefully everyone's having a great day and enjoying themselves. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun and interesting hunt today, I think. And Graves with us stories as well, maybe, later on today. <laughs> so, yeah, I've got a few guns on me. Three. Need, need to really get some more ammo. Two. One. Starting the stream. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's weird we do that now. <laughs> no, you did it first, but I seem to pick that one up as well. Oh dear. All right. Anyway, so I do have a sup over here for Canadian geese. Let's just hope they're going to come in. Right. Oh dear. I should I should probably bring at least one game gun. I don't reckon I'll bother shooting any road deer, so I'll just bring a gun for everything else. Well, when it gets to about the time, the drink time, I'll probably go around a few places for drinking. Mm -hmm. Let's see, and hello to Floofy Reaper. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, dude. Hopefully, you're enjoying yourself. Oh, so you show up in Wes's stream, but not mine. I got you. I moderate your Twitch chat at the all hours of the night, provide you with content, and this is how I'm treated. Ah, <laughs> oh, he loves you, really. There we are. Oh, dear. Oh, wait for these buggers to land. Yeah, I didn't know what to call the stream today, so I just called it hunting, so... If needs be, I'll uh, change it later I on. I called mine Wild Goose Chase. Oh, dear. And I need to quickly... Fluffy Reaper, hello and welcome to the stream. Uh, I need to quickly edit the video tags. You know, I forgot to even do last week's lot yet. Well, I say last week's, I mean I forgot to just sort out the one. And no, this stream is not made for kids. Not with the content I have planned. What the hell are you over there? Well, you were also Canadian geese, okay? I've got two of the past. I mean, first of all, you're not subscribed. You haven't hit the bell. It, it's bullshit. <laughs> you have to enable all notifications, not personalized notifications. Everybody <laughs> knows this. Hey, I always say if people want to personalize it the way they like. No, it's uh, for to get notifications when I'm streaming. Yeah, but they usually get notifications when you post. Also, I might have it set so non-subscribers don't get notifications from me. <laughs> I can't remember. You can personalize it where it just notifies you on your phone, like once a week or something like that, or you can have it every day. But no matter what, in your subscription feed, it does say, you know, there's the notification about it, and it's there all the time. So that's so why I say it's up to people to personalize. Because if a person's subscribed to 20 channels or more, 
You think how many times they would get a ping every time something happens? Ding, 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 ding. Could be once every day. Well, yeah. I mean, once every hour. Sorry, I meant to say, but... Well, at least we shot two Canadian geese so far. And hello to I'm in my mum's car. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. But yeah, shoot some geese. We'll probably go for road deer later on. Hopefully, it won't take too long to get a five coming. You know, I know I've had one five on this map, which trolled me, and I was not happy about it. Bloody Canadian geese. What are you hunting for today? I'm hunting for Canadian geese and maybe some roe deer when it gets to the drink times for them. Well, it's, it's the plan. Them, maybe if we see a pheasant, we'll get a pheasant as well. But uh, got quite a few animals got to hunt at some point. So yeah, I just last week on Wednesday didn't really have anyone choose. I know I've had people say Canadian geese and roe deer before. I uh, looked at Leighton Lodge and I was like, okay, it's like here's Felden. I know there probably are a few better areas for it, but I was like, well, I haven't really hunted on Hirschfelden. So I was like, yeah, do some Hirschfelden hunting. That's a roe deer, but I can't really tell. You're a female, aren't you? Yeah, you're a female. So let's see. Like today, need anyone in your lot? No one else going to land with you? Pardon? Canadian goose, there's only one that's landed by itself. <laughs> then kill it. I have. Well, considering I'm going to be spending the majority of this stream just kind of sat in one area shooting geese, I figured I'd tell a couple stories. Yeah. Okay, I know I hit that. Oh, that's an AI Canadian goose and I hit it in the air. <laughs> it's no oh, it's not going to go down. And I can't spot the bloody thing. Oh, you hit the seagull? No, I hit a Canadian AI Canadian goose flying over. I didn't oh, those aren't AI, it's... they're just in migration mode. Yeah, I know, I didn't realise, I thought, because it was flying away from where I was shooting, I was like, oh! And I didn't spot, because obviously I don't have that spot skill when aiming down sights. And I was like, oh, I'll shoot that, and I was like, oh, hit it! <laughs> Turns out it... <laughs> oh, dear, right, there's that goose. Right, let's see if any more coming. Oh, dear, just my... Don't mouth. worry, Wes! I'm here to help. <laughs> well, I found this being a sweet spot for them being able to land, so I've got time to spot them. There is a dead goose here. Yeah, I've just shot that. And apparently they're on the other side of the field. They're to our south, apparently, on that field there. Oh, that's in the air. Oh, that one's flying over. That's a defensive three. Wait. Come here, you. If you want, you can cover one part of the field and I'll cover the other. Probably a good idea. All right. I'll put that there. Set that. <laughs> oh dear. There we go in and we get my sleeping bag ready. So nice and comfy cozy laying on the ground. Watching your YouTube at the same time. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, just scrolling through Twitter, you know. I was gonna say, if you're gonna use the call, it might be a good idea to put it next to the um, decoys. 
<laughs> yeah, no, I have to go get decoys. I can only carry so much at a no, time. No, I've already got the decoys down. You know, I was going to set a new field of decoys. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, where were the one who's... Is that coming? Oh, bugger it. Now it's kind of interesting though. If you're a certain distance away, the decoy doesn't work. Well, by the sounds of it, it doesn't work anyway when you're far away from it. Defensive right. ready? God damn it. Why? Where? How? Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Have I got any goose decoys left? Are they all on fucking rev? I don't know. Eh, no, I got some Canada goose decoys. <laughs> yeah. I will say, folks, the 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 story I have prepared for for story time with Graves. <laughs> eh, it's a bit of a doozy. <laughs> It sure is. You know I should have called this uh, stream now hunting stories. <laughs> it's not stories about hunting. Oh, I dear. mean, one of these stories involves a huntsman. Mm, true. Alright, but I'll save that for when I sit down in the blind. Yeah. <laughs> I might end up actually repeating the story when some of the Americans come in a bit later on. Yeah, well, if they come in later on. Well, I assume, you know, uh, Casey and that lot usually come in around 11. Yeah, I'm saying that. Casey hasn't been on the streams in a, a while now. Mm. Fair enough, fair enough. Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, you guys. I've got this. Really? <laughs> You're not bringing a flash grenade with you now, are you? Are we not supposed to bring those? No. <coughs> you blind me out at the same time. <laughs> Puts and he's like, oh, why are you not shooting? I'm like, because you flashed me. You're like, what? <laughs> Puts nondescript backpack in the bushes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Says, don't worry, we'll flash the geese out. Throws a flash grenade and blinds me at the same time. There don't go, worry, I've got this. Grenade. I got this airburst grenade launcher. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, if there's anyone who'd like to go on the map and do some hunting, please let us know as well. I think the only animal that's on this map that I know I've hunted is the uh, red deer that people can go for, really, if they wanted a diamond. Oh, no, and fallow. There are the only two diamonds I know on this map that I've already got. Let me scatter some of the tall boys. <laughs> really what I do is it's art. 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 How many is that? That looks like more than twenty. It is. Jesus crumbs. It's forty eight. Why? It works. Okay, <clears throat> um, let's see. I'm in my mum's car. Can I join? Yeah, uh, I'm trying to remember. Just put the first two letters of your name or your gamer tag in the chat so I know which one to send the invite to. Just the first two letters. Don't need to put the whole thing. 
There we go. Oh, for fuck's sake, I forgot my e-collar controller. <laughs> oh, there we go. I say just be a bit obviously mindful. Oh what oh, where are you going now? You've gone back again. I forgot my controller. <clears throat> I don't know. How am I supposed to make the ghost noises without my iPhone? Don't use it. <laughs> but then what am I gonna play Angry Birds on, Wes? Mm, true. But you always have the noise going at the same time. No, I want to play my Angry Birds. <laughs> oh dear. Come on, Canadian geese. You seem a bit slow today. There we go. Now I've got some calls from them. Got two. What do we have? A two and a All two. Right, I will be right back. That's all right. Just wait for these buggers to land now. Come on, come on, come on, Canadian geese, land for me. Uh, it takes them a hot minute to land, though. Oh, dear. Landed anywhere around here. Do they fly off? You're kidding me, they flew off. What the hell? What are you drinking there, bud? <laughs> Coke Zero, bud. <laughs> <laughs> bud Coke Zero? <laughs> Didn't know they did that. <laughs> well, you know, they make an exception for people like me. Yeah, special nerd. Oh, no, I people that hate one. Bud but enjoy Coke Zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bud Zero Coke coming soon to your stores. <laughs> zero Budweiser, all Coke Zero, Bud Zero. <laughs> Bud Zero Coke gives you the extra fizz in your step. Oh, God. Could you imagine all of a sudden that does come out with like, What? We knew it. Bro, if it comes out, I want that sponsorship yeah. right here, right now. <laughs> million dollars. I'll say whatever you want me to say. I'll tell you. It's good for you. I lie straight to your face. Give me a million dollars. My. Oh, God. You know we've got no right. Wi-Fi out here, though. You're gonna have to use your data. Don't honk at me. <laughs> Given I, I know one of your phobias, Floof, that this would be considered a scary story. Right. You all ready? Yeah, I'm ready for the story.
day I fucked up by not looking before I sat down. Floor 8 of the place of my employment inside the men's shitter. I'm sitting, I'm sitting there doing my sit down business because boss makes a dollar while I make a dime. I've just finished the dirty work and I'm about to perform my abulations, wiping his ass, but I delay it because it's a pay to shit thing. Dicking around on Reddit for a bit, at this point I feel something jump onto my nuts. Something I'd hoped, I'd never hoped I would ever experience, let alone talk about on the internet. I shriek. Not a barbarian shriek, not a viking shriek, no. The movie Psycho shower scene shriek. A huntsman spider has crawled out of the toilet bowl and jumped onto my load hanging fruit. I bat the spider off, smacking myself in the nuts and keel over in pain. Spider dead. Good news. My banshee wheel has not gone unanswered. Bad news. Someone comes into the bathroom and knocks on the stall. Mate, are you alright? Have you fallen over? I'll call you an ambulance. This next part's in all caps. No. Fine. Everything is good. Just slipped. Fine. No need to call an ambulance. You can leave. Now. My, f my face red with shame. I, fl I flush the world's smallest sexual predator down the toilet and try to retain some of my inner pride. I wash my hands and make the very long walk back to my desk. My manager's desk isn't too far away from the bathrooms and he comes up to me afterwards. What happened in there? Is everyone alright? Yeah. Everyone's fine. And then I make the dumbest decision of my life and explain to him what happened and the audacity of the man. He laughs. He laughs so hard he had to sit down so he doesn't hurt himself. His hyena hybrid laughter had gotten the attention of some of the other members of my team. And they're all looking to get in on the funny, funny joke. Boss man wheezes. Get him. Get to tell them. Holy shit. Because I'm incredibly susceptible to peer pressure, I tell them, like a fucking gimp. I'm going to skip past most of the laughter because it feels like it went on forever. I come back from my lunch break and the boss man and two other members of my team come up to me as I'm sitting down at my desk, getting ready to get back to work. Boss man is holding a piece of paper. Look, we need to have a chat about something. I brought two of your friends in the team as support since... This is obviously not something that's easy to talk about. I'm confused. I have a blank HR report here. You'll need to fill this out. You confided in me that you were sexually harassed in the workplace, and it's my duty to take care to make sure the perpetrator is brought to justice. Under the space where it says which hand did they assault you with, just put times eight. We understand that this is a traumatic experience for you, and I want you to know that every resource we have is here for you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's the end hello, of the story. Hello to Rio Jurassico. Welcome to the stream. It's been a while. Oh dear. Ayo, hey Jurassico. Oh god. So, did y'all appreciate <laughs> the story? Eh, Jurassico did. Mm hmm. What just happened? Am I repeating the story? No. <laughs> Maybe okay, repeat it so later the, on. the TLDR Jurassico. Are you coming in or are they just flying around? Oh, I think he, I think he rewinded and, and caught the story. Okay. I say it wasn't that long into it, so... No. It wasn't a long story, but that was the only one I had prepared. <laughs> Okay, so that lot is flying over. Nothing really high level. There's mostly two threes, a male and a yeah, female Yeah, but they free. still have to be killed. Oh yeah, I know they've got to be killed. I just want to make sure that there wasn't a five out of that lot. I know what you're like for geese. You don't like spotting them. You just prefer shooting them. What a story almost made me cry. <laughs> that is the most fucking Australian story I think I've ever heard. <laughs> That's called science. The best, the best part about it 
<laughs> was the fucking HR form at the end. It's like, what the hell? We're gonna use all our resources to get them for it. <laughs> to make sure the perpetrator is brought to justice. Oh, God. Oh, one's landed. Let's see. Oh, the rest of the land. Oh, God, they landed right at me. I missed the second one. I hit the first one. <laughs> Damn. I didn't. <laughs> Freaking landed right at my feet! God damn it. What do you mean, nothing to retrieve? Go get that goose, you little shit. Oh, did you get one, did you? What? A goose. Yeah, the one that you missed. I know the one on my side, because I shot to the uh, south side, because it was two next to me. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it flew back over me. Oh, did it? Yeah. Are you oh. going to be a pain in the ass, Rook? Fuck it. Lay down, you little bastard. I only have two outposts. <laughs> no. Well, I was going to say, you can always That's use rough, your ATB and drive around for the other ones. Um, do I have any tents out and about out there? How dare you call me an angry bird? But you I'm are an hungry. impetulant eagle. Um, I don't think I've got any tents out anymore. Oh no, I've got one on the top of the mountain. The highest point. He's got an ATV. I say there's one on the top of the mountain over there. I'm trying to think if there's any other tents that I've got out on the map. I'm sure I had a load, but I think I've brought more back when I start doing the grinds. Oh, and I've got one over the uh, north, well, top right side, near where you have to kill uh, two legendary boars, basically. Oh, damn it, boars. On Hishfelden. So I, I do have a few tents still here. <laughs> That's the point I need to re reload my own cock my gun up. Uh, not yet. So far, not yet. No trophies yet. You're hunting the geese now, go. I'm an owl. We, we're mostly psychic with how to hunt geese then today. <laughs> Sorry, because last week right. I had no one on the um, stream after I shot my black tail deer. And I was like, what do I hunt? And there was no one there, so I went to Leighton Lakes um, Trophy Lodge. And I looked what I needed. I was like, you know what? Roe deer, Canadian goose. Better for Hishfeld. We'll go Hishfeld. I was like, yeah. Try and get at least one or both of them here. And yes, I know, Gravy has said to me, and I know someone else will probably say in the chat, oh, there are other locations which are better. And probably are. Unfortunately, Rebel on the Coast is a bit glitchy when I'm streaming it. For some reason, well, or at least when I'm hosting it, it's a bit glitchy. I should say. With the lag and that lot. And, yeah. I just thought I'd mix it up instead of being a DLC map before. Normal map, why not? Be a bit different. I look at him watching his bloody phone in bed, I don't know. Sleeping on the job. <laughs> but Graves are getting an interesting trophy, not on stream, but off streams. Um, he got himself a very interesting hunt. Blue cystic uh, Eurasian teal, I believe. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, at some point, we'll probably, near the end of the stream, we'll go um, see his leucistic teal. <laughs> Your Asian teal. Burb. If he's put it up in his um, hunting lodge. So you guys can see that. He's maybe I mean, hell, I could show you the spot. Oh, where I shot it. That's an AI one. Well, there's two dead, so. Oh, is there? Yep. Yeah. I didn't even blow you. See where? They landed in this field. Oh, here. there's one right next to us. Shoot, hold on. Ow. <laughs> I you didn't hear shoot. them come in. The hell? I was, I was playing Angry Birds, man. 
I didn't get the warning call for them coming in. Jesus. Mm. Oh, hold on. Right, that's mine. Let me shoot before it bloody goes off. There we go. That should be a flock dead. <laughs> That'll be the hope. Alright. I was going to say they landed okay. without us even knowing about it. Right, let me go get the one I shot. Yeah, he he's just going to be a pee in the ass today. Oh, what, your dog? You know what? Normally, Floof, I would say that we should get rid of this problem, but I feel like we should hire him. Hire who? <laughs> uh, the human resource representative from that Reddit story. <laughs> you want just for the story part? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Graves, have you... Oh, Graves, you are a prof oh, Jesus crumbs my words today. I got you. Profession s storyteller and singer. Mm. Is this well, a rare road deer when it's orange? No. no. Rare road deer are albino, piebald, and melanistic. And hello to... Kino killer? Well, I'm new. Hi, I'm new. Are skill points bogged in the game? Frustrated. Um, first things first, I'm no, playing this without skill points. No, they just take a while to get them. No, it just takes a long ass while to get them. So every time you level up, you should get a perk and a skill point. Unfortunately, there is a point where Not you don't time. get them for a few levels, then you start getting them near the end. Which is kind of weird because you can only get a max of 22 perks and 22 skill points, even though you can get to level 60. Doesn't add yep. up really. That's because the perks were added after the leveling system. Yeah. I've leveled up four times, level 54, and nothing. Yeah, no. After level 50, you don't get any more. I think you maybe get one at level 60. Yeah, like I say, when you... <laughs> Maximum amount of skills and perks is 22 on both. I was kind of shocked when I was doing my um, series and playing it on the streams. So I was like, hold on. I haven't had a perk and skill point in a while yet. I've leveled up. But yeah, they just stop. And then you just get them. I think it's just at set levels you get a few and that's it. No, we've got maybe one coming over. We do. It's a level three. Oh, we've got two, three birds. What have we got? We've got level two and... Two level twos and a level three. Crikey. Crikey, mate. The Gemini goddamn crickets. Wheel. You know, when there's geese flying over your head, you should raise your gun and fucking kill them. Otherwise, they'll kill you. See, geese are the most ruthless animal in the whole Man, animal How's that kingdom. gone defensive? It's it's just circling. To me, it's gone defensive so they flee when they go defensive. Well, that's also because you're sat up in a fucking hunting stand. But usually it's fine with me being Against in a hunting the stand. wind. usually fine <laughs> for where they usually land for me is over there and it's fine <laughs> you know you put yours there <laughs> how many bloody <coughs> do you know our state oh dear this is wolf spiders like to hang out in the urinals that is terrifying Wolf spiders are so much scarier than huntsmen. Even though huntsmen are bigger. Like, huntsmen are the biggest. Where you live, three milkshakes cost $22. That's fucked up. Jeez. Oh, but he says free milk, so it's not expensive, even just for free. I mean, that's 
an amount of money per milkshake. Yeah. I've then again, that, don't they have bigger milkshakes over there than what they do over here? Depends. It really depends on, on like the. the it's certainly one. got a more wide variety of portion size. Yeah. And no regulations on what those portion sizes can be. <laughs> the whole entire lot. <laughs> you got small, medium, and diabetes. <laughs> 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 and it and it's a small wow a small for a milkshake three of them costing twenty two dollars dang <laughs> Well, that better be one hell of a fucking milkshake. It better be or for that price. Or I will price. actually start a hostile government takeover. <laughs> of Canada. <laughs> At least we're shooting your favourite bird then, Graves. Canada. This is their Air Force. <laughs> What's the ground know what troops like fact then? about Canada? So if Canadian geese are their air force, what are the ground force troops then? Moose. And the soldiers? The infantry? Beavers. <laughs> beavers. <laughs> but we can't shoot beavers! They're not in the game. That's the point. Do you wanna know you wanna know a fact about Canada? Do you know the Geneva Convention, right? The globally recognized rules of war? You know, there's a whole bunch of lists of things that are on the Geneva Convention. I think there's like 32 things that you can't do. Do you want to know who's responsible for at least 16 of those being on that list? Go on then. Canada. They were doing some deeply horrific shit during World War II. You want to know one thing they did? What's that? Okay, so... For a couple nights in a row, as a quote-unquote act of kindness, because the German troops were starving, the Canadian troops would, like, throw canned goods into their trenches, right? Mm -hmm. And then on the Friday of that week, you know, like, so the Germans would come and they would scramble to get the food. Well, on the Friday, they didn't throw canned food, they threw hand grenades. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that serves them bloody right. They're going so to they scramble all scrambled. for bloody food. I'm just kind yeah, of not scrambled. surprised that they went on oh, no, and no, just throw grenades in instead. No, that was the plan all along to beat them into like pulling the grenades into the mm. t the trench. God damn. Canada get a little wacky when it comes to war. <laughs> like Canada and Poland are tied for the most war crimes committed. Like, by a UN nation. <laughs> Jeez. Have I got a bad spot for shooting geese? Yes. Is there a better spot yeah. for hunting geese on this map? Uh, yeah, further up in the fields. Like, up, up the north. Uh, you, oh, no, that's not the one. Is it? It's up by. Is it the Western Outpost you're on about? That far up, or you're on about Miller before? Miller World Western Outpost? Yep. Yeah. Oh, we got geese coming in. <laughs> Go on, West. Shoot up the bands. Give it your your best goose. Call. Me? <laughs> the same time as your e, e caller did that then. No, I am not seeing them. Could you set a tent down so we could get it? A uh, little bit busy, Bosch, but uh, you've got an ATV. Here they come. There they are. 
We've got a two. We've got a two. We've got a two and a two. Slaughter them. And they're all females. Oh, hold on. And we've got a two male. A five medium seagull. What? <laughs> Diamond seagull? Question mark. I'd be questioning your sanity by that point. Oh, we got more geese coming in from above. They're circling. Well, let's get ready. They're circling. They're, They're going to try and take circling. our land. Take our freedoms. We can't allow it, Wes. We will never surrender. They're going to bomb with uh, grenades at this rate. Oh, which side they... Are they actually landing or are they running away? Some fl they flew off on my side. The hell? I'm confused why they blaze flat. Okay, looks like we're gonna... Hmm. I'm gonna put this fucking dog away. <laughs> I don't think it's the dog, but it could be the dog. Well, I know I was hunting here last week, you know, I was fine on the hill with the hunting stand, and they didn't flee. I don't know why they're going defensive, and I'm not sure there's anything here that can scare them off. I reckon it's the dog. But the dog's not supposed to count as being able to scare them off, is it? Yeah, well, the dog's been scaring off ducks on my rev on Thule. Really? But it don't matter, because I shoot them in the air anyway. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, is that a pheasant call? That might be a two male, if I'm not mistaken. Hello, little pheasant. And would you like to play a game with me? It is a game where you jump into the air since I blow you into high hell. <laughs> and go cut that. Oh dear. Oh my eyes want to do. And I heard pheasant tastes just like the chicken of the woods. Is he chicken up the seas, as we see? And I very clearly am not doing a, a Russian accent. It's very <laughs> clearly a German accent, but you do you, boss man. <laughs> Accent's just a bloody accent to me. If I was doing a Russian accent, it would sound a lot more like this, yes? Oh. There's a lot more rumble to it, yes? I have to screw my face up like someone has their finger in my ass. Oh, okay. Well, it might be because you're walking over. That's why they may be going to went defensive when they came in. It was only one female, but... I don't bloody know. Ah, oh, dear. Oh, there we go. Now they're flying over. Why has one gone defensive again? Okay. Word.
Noted. <laughs> nice shot of goose out the sky. I think we shot the same goose there, Wes. We'll soon find out. One hit from two hits from me. One while it was flying no, above. Just one from me, and it's my one. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're looking at different geese, boss man. Yeah. <laughs> we both shot one out of the sky. Ah! I'll just see how this spot does for a little bit longer, then I might change the different spot to hunt them. Ah! I crave violence, yes. I crave blood of the victims. I crave a Snickers. <laughs> what a Snickers? You're not you and you're hungry. No. Never am. Barney was a dinosaur in the likes of our <laughs> and died of constipation. What's that about constipation? <laughs> It's a fucked up nursery rhyme that I was singing to myself. Mm. I guess that one. It's, it goes, Barney is a dinosaur in our imagination. We stuck a pole up his hole. He died of constipation. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> it's fucked. I told you. You were warned. Yeah, I know. But Jesus crumbs. <sighs> You really do like your messed up ones, don't you? Mm-hmm. That's that's not even the worst one I got it by Barney. Oh god. The worst one goes I love you, you love me, let's uh, go kill Barney with a knife with a knife up his ass and a bullet through his head. Sorry kids, Barney's dead. <laughs> Just as bad as the tink, uh, the Teddy Tubby's one, then. Um, not familiar. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Where are they on the map? Uh, you might be near an outpost. I have nothing on that side of the map unlocked. Where's you tell them? Uh, you have to go to the left a bit more. To the left, to the left. Basically, just head west. You gotta go down the hill. Um,. You're near an information po uh, logging camp information point, which is actually where you get um, two of the diamond uh, wild balls for the missions for this map. And that's where they are located at. Where you're at, so you're just going down here. Sausage. Not just sausage. It is sausage. sausage, but there's also another one. Which is the same guy actually to hunt a large wild boar so you can get two of them. <clears throat> Just make sure you do both missions separately. Because if you're doing both at the same time, it will count for both and you only get the one. This sounds like skill issue, yes. It's sausage and their twin. Sausage! We got geese incoming. A two, a two, a three, and a two. Two. So it's that one there, which I've got highlighted at the minute. That's the uh, free one. It's oh, time for blood. Why is that one alerted for? No, it's calm now. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, landing right next to me. My south side, one of them is. Oh, what? He's fleeing? Frick's sake, I didn't get to... Bro, it's got to be your hunting stand, man. I was fine. Maybe it's because, obviously, you've put yours... It seems like I'm closer to the landing where I'm at. Okay, well, I'll get off this one and I'll go set up a different spot. Because usually I'm fine here. <laughs> Did you put it in a different hunting stand than that lot? Right, let's go up both for you. Change my setup and get some more. Single one of my storage, okay. No, we passed too far down. Oh, I did have some up here. Oops. No, I didn't. Okay, so that one, that one, that one. you no that's fallow dear not after fallow That's a big pack, then. Okay, I'm going to say the... I'm going to say that field there for them. I hope... Saying that I brought a bloody gun with me for <laughs> at the minute. <laughs> a little bit of a lag. Come on. Can I say, see this field or the next field? I can't tell which field I should go with.
trying to think which part of the field it is. Is this one or the one next to it? No, I've had them in this field before. Well, let's go over here. Any of those fields up there are fine. Mm. Pay you that. Throw these guys over here. That's a six red fox, that's a free fallow. Oh, what about them? Except they don't land on the other side because of they jump me. Bloody trouble. Let's go get my different setup. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully they'll land without a problem now. This bloody crossed. <laughs> Nothing's oh, really yeah. coming in down here anymore. No. I know usually there's a thirty minute grace period where they don't come in. If I went to Rev on Tule Coast, I know once I've done a couple of shooting, what I can do two hours in-game shooting, half an hour rest, and then a couple of hours in-game shooting again, and then it's a rest again. Never had that issue. I've always had that. Especially not when I know there's active flocks nearby. It's usually half an hour before the... Uh, no need time. <sighs> Fucking hell, man. Ah! My, eye, my eyes are starting to sting like really bad. Ah, shit. <sighs> well, I'm swelling for my eyes now, gone down. God, that was a pain. Oh, that's something. Mm. I suppose somebody's going to turn around and go, Pink eye, but no, not pink eye. <laughs> they farted on your eyebrow. I'll be Those monsters. Those monsters. my bloody eye. Those animals. They snuck in through the night. They, they farted come up on you against your will. Giant turd on you. Oh, they dear. They farted right there on your eyebrow. You sorry son of a bitch, you didn't even know what was happening until it was too late. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so did uh, Mel do herd management for hers then? Uh, she does what she likes to call light management. Uh, she doesn't do any stacking or anything like that, she just only targets animals of a certain level. Yeah. Are you kidding? They're on the other side of the bloody hill that I'm at. For frick's sakes, and I ain't got anything for long range. Are you kidding me? I knew this would bloody happen. Son of a... Hold on. Do I have enough room to pick this up? I have no bloody clue. Let's see if I can pick this up and move it. I haven't got enough space to pick it up. Shoot! Let's 
Soon find out. Did I hit it or did I miss? I missed. Out of range. There it goes. Oh, I did him the first time. <laughs> right, I need to move this. Crap. I need to get rid of one shotgun and move my hunting stand. Get rid of the 12 gauge, keep the 10 gauge on me, get some more ammo for the 10 gauge. That was weird, I had a gun instead of my ammo from the... <laughs> Sorry about the flashing guys, I do apologise, I'm just gonna quickly grab some ammo. I'm not entirely certain if I'm okay, Floof, my eyes are really fucking hurting right now. Hmm. I might honestly have to call the stream early, this shit fucking sucks. Oh, it's a bit annoying when your eye starts irritating. Trust me, mine's irritating a bit. Yeah, this is like both my eyes. I'm like struggling to focus. Jeez. Alright, let's move my hunting stand. Let's move it more towards the tree line on the right, left side. Hopefully, then I've got a better view on both sides. If not, I'm going to be annoyed. I think what I honestly need for Luf is some sleep. My schedule's been fucked recently. I know that feeling. Like, I've been pretty much working off of, like, a sporadic six hours, where I'd sleep for, like, five hours in a row, wake up for, like, four hours, and then sleep for another hour, then go to work. Jesus. You're doing catnaps. <laughs> Not by choice. I can tell you that much. Mm -hmm. Let's grab this, let's move this more to the over here a bit more. Let's see if this gives me a better angle for shooting. About there, should do. Mm, not great places to shoot from, I guess, but better than what I had. No, I'll leave the hunting stand on that hill just in case. Seems to be able to carry f stack them. Why I get the night vision ones out, I have no idea. Right. There we go. Get 
gives me two angles to shoot from now. Three and two twos. Of a flock. Are they just flying over or are they actually coming to join as well? You can tell by whether or not you're uh, able to spot them. And they're not spotable. So I was waiting until they got past the other side mode. of the tree so I could see if I could spot the lot, but. Yeah. yeah I can't. <coughs> are you one of the ones that I was looking at, Kurt? Oh, there you are. London. Is that just M3? Okay, just M3. Yeah, fuck it. Unfortunately, ladies and gentle dweebs, I'm gonna be calling it an early stream. My eyes are fucking killing me, and I'm just. I know I need to sleep. It's yeah. that type of burning. So. I guess I will catch you fuckers Friday. Yeah, certainly will do, dude. Oh, my eyesight, I might have to go wash my eye real quick. <laughs> that fucking actually went down. Bit delayed on that one. Right, give me a sec, guys. I'm gonna just go and quickly splash some water in my eye. And I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. I just had to go put some more in my eye. Oh. Right. Did we have any go over? Or land next to me? I have no idea. There are some coming in, though. Let's 
I can't believe that one went down afterwards. God damn it. Go on, use. And. That's got to be A. That can't be a. If that's a full flock of them. I thought it was AI. Go on, use. Land. And I need to put my heat on. I'm cold. Oh, they've landed in front of me. Awesome. I can start spawning a few of these then in a minute. Uh, sorry, I just need to turn my heating on a little bit. Oh, just to warm up. Right, a two. Three, you need to spot you. A two. A two. Yeah, they're definitely not landing on that side. They're going to be time to spot them all, though. You two sleep? No, I had to go wash my eye. I had something in it. My eye's been irritating most of the day. My eye was slightly inflamed earlier when I woke up, so I just had to deal with it. It started to go down on the swelling. Graves is gone because he's tired and he hasn't had much sleep. Oh, what? There's a gold? God First time. Oh, I hit part of the wing. Okay, I was like, what the hell is that? Second time was in the air, but how far off? Uh, quite far off. Because then that was a free. I've been surprised if that free made a high. Anyway, right, where did that other one go? No, oh, I might actually not worry about it. Not fully going to worry about it. Oh, hold on. Is this the blood spot? This. Is the blood spot? Let's see. Where did, where did it go? Oh, I just need to warm up a bit. I'm freezing. Oh, I'm not worried about the second one. It was only a difficulty two or three, I think. I can't remember. But yeah, I'm still gonna be streaming. Don't worry, guys. I really want to do some road deer hunting though. Um, it's all good. That's concerning if it's still bothering. So I'll proceed. I'll be fine. It's I've had a spot underneath my eye, which won't bloody uh, go away. So it's probably because I've been irritating that. It's irritated underneath my eye. So uh, it's fine. Oh, there's a four. So possible diamonds. It's not going to be a diamond, but there's a possibility of being a diamond. So I need to keep an eye on that four and I need to see what the others are. Don't worry, if, I, if anything gets too bad, I will be seeing doctors about it anyway. And I haven't got enough time to be able to check all these every five seconds because I have no idea. Is that another pack coming in? Jesus Christ. I'll wait till these guys land. Oh my god, this is another flock as well. God damn it. Why? Why now? Why is it when Graves leaves I get a full flock of them coming in? I, I can't keep... Oh my god, I'm a frickin... Oh, is that another pack coming in as well? I can't keep an eye on all of these. There's no way. How am I going to remember which ones I've tagged up in the air or not? Right. 
Oh, don't tell me they all landed on the other side. The bloody hell, they freaking did. I don't believe this. <sighs> they landed the other side this time. That's just freaking typical. I have no idea where my four landed. Where's my four? I want to find that foot. I need the. F I need to spot the four. That's right. We'll be checking chat in a minute, guys. Don't worry. Just trying to spot this bloody four out the whole lot. Ah! Where is it? Sorry about the Ellen or the stream. <laughs> it's me getting frustrated at these. Is it not here? Where's where's my fall? Let's just see. And hold up the screw flying deer. Just pop them all. Throw a grenade. Yeah, I wish that was an option. Grenade out! Well, the fact that I want to try and shoot the four if I can find it, and I think it's it is on the other side of the bloody hill. Where's my four? Oh, did that lot fly? Oh my god, that lot flew off. So it's possible my four's already flown off. I can believe this. The one bloody time I see a four and it... Ah, it lands on the other side. See, if I had that one, I could have been fine with it, but... Four is. I have a feeling the four flew off. <sighs> Freaking thing. Of course it bloody. Are you kidding me? I hadn't even. I haven't even shot, and they're already flying off. God damn it! No, I'm bad at shooting. Get you out of the bloody sky, didn't I? Cheeky little git. What are you? Afraid? Wee! Bloody git. I know, come straight at me and lands there. I don't bloody know. I need to keep an eye on the target next time I shoot them because it makes it a lot easier for me. If I knew where it landed in the first blade place, it would have been fine. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> it's not good news. Maybe I should move them decoys down to there. And everything's gonna be a bit too close. God damn it. Maybe I should move them into that field. <laughs> I don't know. If I have any worse hunting, I'm just gonna go to Revel on Tully Coast. Grits be like, what? You could have done that before, but like, yeah, but unfortunately case is not exactly being the greatest of our hunting. One minute. God damn it. God Dang it! 
Right, is that like AI or not? That is. And... You're not. Come on. Oh, and what are you? You're two. You're two. You're two. Which is why I keep an eye on these so I know exactly where they're landing. Just when there were so many, it's like, um, which one is it? There's a three. There's a four. Can't mark that four, come on. Let's see what we've got. A three, two, two, two. Right, so where's that four out of this lot? I have no bloody clue. There's the four. Right, I need to keep an eye on that one. Deny the prize. At least I hit the four. <laughs> That's the main thing. I hit a couple of them over here, which is good. I swear I hit more than just... Yeah, I did. Good. Did that one just flop? Okay, well, let's see what this four gave me. Solid gold. Pretty low for the gold then. God damn. No idea whether. I'm sure, I had more than one just go down, but. This person was going to say, why don't you take a dog with you? Because I'm using it without dogs. I have no idea which way this went. <laughs> there was a blood spot that went over this place, but well. great. Now there's one. Just in the field right there. Just there. Do geese taste like duck? I'm going to say I have no idea. I have heard that they can taste um, kind of sweetly, I guess. Okay, so that's this one. This must be the one from. No, I haven't picked that one up yet either. Okay. We've got a couple that we've actually shot. Dead, and I have no idea. What or where they are. I might change maps. <laughs> just to hunt Canadian geese. There's another four? Frickin' hell, what the hell? Where the hell do all these lot come from? Where are all these just coming from? So they just come out of nowhere today. A 
Further gave me a bloody flock, but that's just something else. Kind of fell. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Gonna be honest, I have no idea what they taste like. But. I heard they can always bite back. <laughs> uh, oh, God, that was terrible for me. This is just not great. Missed it a second time. Outrange now. God damn it. Fear might just change maps because I can't hunt here. This is not a great spot to bloody be hunting. It's perfect because they are falling, but I just don't know where they're going. Oh, don't tell me he actually did go down. Hold on. How's this the same as the one over. What? What's I? D I'm so confused. Oh, which one's gone down? Can I just pull up my and just go to a different map? Jeez, I have no idea where the bloody hell this has gone. I want to go Hunt Road instead now. <laughs> God damn it. If it comes in with a bloody four, I'm going to be annoyed. Two, two, and two. I, mean, I need to set up better for this map. I can't tell. I really can't tell what's going to be the best spot for hunting on here. I can't tell if I'm throwing the same one, the different one. It's too difficult for me to tell. Apparently this one went backwards. I bloody know what's going on with these geese. They seem to be trolling me. You know what it was? The field here would have been better for hunting them. At least there's no crevice for them to hide in. Shoot. <laughs> oh my god, this one's going to leave me in set. Right. This one I prefer my other spot. It's a lot easier for me to just deal with it down there. Right, I'm going to go to single player. Seems I've got no one who's with me. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to quickly go at my chat party so I can actually not worry about that. So I do apologise. Give me a sec, guys. Yes. There we go. Do apologise. Right. I want to taste now. <laughs> Thanks to the good doctor screw here. <laughs> oh, doctor screw is always good. 
Could have been worse. It could have been saying it tastes like hair, hair, hair. <sighs> I'm going to shut up before I get into trouble now. Right, I'm going to have to resort that one out. Right, let's go. As much as it is, it's just that's a, I hate shooting in that spot I've just set up. I don't like it. And let me go back down to where I was shooting earlier in the stream. Might be because Graves had his set up, and of course they're going on to where I'm. They might be landed where I was. That's why they're fleeing. We'll soon see. Yeah, it's been an easy way to tell. And how to Scorpion Core? Hi, how are you awesome people doing today? Ha 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 ha. Absolutely fantastic. Shooting at Canadian geese. I want to shoot roe deer, but they're not on the drink time yet. Not that I actually have a load of the drink times for them, but, you know. I think it's just going to be a goose day. I do have a gun tip. I say I did have a gun. Look at that. Half my guns are all glitched out now. Great. I need to go to my loadouts quickly, change them and change them back. I hate when this happens. It's a pain. Unloaded, yeah, it's fine. Hold on. Ah, right, because I took the 12 gauge off and on, on Tucker, didn't I? It's fine, let me just add the. Um, Alright, not worried. Right. Yay, all set again. Wait. <laughs> but hopefully, you're enjoying your day, Scorps. And hopefully you're having a bit of fun. Saying that, I did take a bit of a wild chance at getting a Factoria. Ugh, the ratios for that game are not on. <laughs> it gives me a headache, Factoria does. Satisfactory doesn't give me a headache. Factoria freaking gives me a headache. The maths for that and the balancing is just, the ratios are off. Way off. Interesting. Yes. I decided to get it. I was like, you know, it's been over a year. It's never been on offer. I was like, bugger it. I'll just get it. Play it. See how I feel about it. And, yeah. Factory, uh, satisfactory. Obviously, as you know, absolutely fantastic with it. I'm great with it. It works, you know. It has math to do with it. The ratios for Satisfactory, perfect. Factoria, there's no ratio. It's all over the place. No matter what you do, it's just, oh, it decides to do this or that. I'm like, this does not work. And, you know, you have people do videos about it. Oh, this is the ratios. Way off. I actually had to take... About 10 minutes to figure out what the ratio for just a standard stone furnace to a miner is. And it's a, what is it, a zero, zero point six two five. I'm like, are you kidding me? And then another math was like 1.25. I'm like, god damn it. The math for this just doesn't work on the ratios. It's like, oh. Oh, God dang it. And then people go on about how much a belt can take. I'm like, well, that's incorrect about the belts. And I'm like, think of for frick's sake. And everyone works everything out from belt. And they're like bus systems. And I, I, I've been banging my head against the brick wall on Factoria. Don't get me wrong, I played it for a good 12 hours. And still only get up to about maybe the third lot of research and then I'm banging my head against a brick wall because it's like god damn it why don't you just have correct maths in this game but yeah 
I'm I am now on my PC decided to take a leave of absence over the last few days now it seems to want to work again that's part of it, wow <laughs> oh look and Mikey's come in I think it might be I was in the way of where Graves lot because Graves had a set up there so it might be I was in the way of the setup for his lot I should have just trusted my setup. I never trusted my setup. See, this stuff, if I shoot now, I know exactly where I'm hitting and my distance from all. No, wrong caller. Get the shotgun. Actually, let's change the sh uh, sight for that so I can get better zoom on that one. Now, there was another one here. Now, out of range. Great. Of course, they bloody are. God damn it. My eyesight's getting worse. I should have had my. I should have put my glasses on. I might see better with my glasses. Oh. My glasses, my glasses. I can't see if I had my glasses, as they say. <laughs> the, the problem is, when it comes to stuff like Factoria, it's supposed to be logistics like Satisfactory. And it doesn't have a ratio. And it irritates me because I can't make it all look fine. So this is where I know you've gone, don't worry about it, it will work. And it's like, it doesn't do that in Satisfactory. <laughs> Which is the one thing that irritates me. There's a big difference. I have OCD, okay? Come on, I like organisation. <laughs> I know if I have so much item, I will get this as a ratio. I like things to be balanced and well working. You know, me looking at it going, how much have I got to spend to try and sort this out so it works without it going, eh. I know, I'm sad. OCD at its finest, as they say. Don't get me wrong, it took me a couple of attempts to understand how to get the ratio set up just right anyway. Well, I say set up right. How to get a few things going a bit faster than being like, eh. And, and mine and stuff, which, yeah, it's a bit annoying. But, you know, it works. <laughs> yes, we know you like order. Yes. So this is where you've got the bad habit from Factoria, where you go, oh, it's fine, I'll throw all these machines in, hook it all up, and it'll work. It's like, no, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. It's, it just doesn't. Oh. You know, for you, for Factoria, it might be fine. For Satisfactory, um, but it's like my brain just has an aneurysm every time. Is that the right word or pronunciation? Aneurysm, that's the word I wanted to use. My brain just goes, no, no, no. And yeah, I know, it's more of a me problem than anything else, but yeah. I missed it. Got it. Ah, oh, it's just an AI bird. Get to it. I swear there's supposed to be a third Canadian goose out there, slot. Oh. Anyway. See, I'm shooting better over here now. We're getting them in a bit more. Then again, I thought Graves was going to set up somewhere else. But he sets up right next to me instead. <laughs> it's like, he didn't need to set up right next to me. He could have chosen a different spot. Oh well, that's it was, that was his choice. Might have been all contradicting each other's spots. Him with his stuff, me with my stuff. 
The birds don't know which one to choose. You want me to stream Factoria? Oh god. Jeez. I might do it Saturday, how about that? I oh, know I can't really, can I? Because I do thingy on Saturday. Saying that, I need to speak to Grim to get the footage from the series we're all doing. Hmm. Well, let me give it. Let me give it a bit more practice for it all, and then I'll figure out a date and I'll stream it, or I'll just record it and put it into episodes. Me just banging my head against a brick wall. Get to a certain point and then go and I want to start again. I don't like it. <sighs> it's everything. Don't get me wrong, I can handle the uh, the bugs and all that a lot really easy. You know, I've taken out 20 hives, maybe more. <laughs> I literally just go out and go, I see you, I'm killing you before my pollution gets too high. You know. But I'm looking at it, I'm like, the, the ratio for this doesn't work. You know, sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more, sometimes it's a one-to-one. -one. It's like, it doesn't work. It's just, I'm, I'm sad. I'm very sad. I certainly will do scorps and I'll uh, hopefully see you for the start of your stream for Factoria and Satisfactory. So enjoy the rest of your day and uh, hopefully I'll see you and speak to you soon, dude. And I hope you have a good time at work. Oh, we've got, we've got two. We've got a two. We've got one. We've got two. Two, a three. A two and a two. Oh, and we've got some more. A two, a two, a two, and a two. Ready? <laughs> See, every one of them, that one's just going to be out of range in a moment, so I need to get a good shot on him and then try and shoot the ones that are closer. I missed. I freaking missed. God damn it. <coughs> I think I missed. <sighs> I missed. <coughs> I missed. I can't believe this, I missed. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. There's someone who's saying, mute your mic. Like, I don't have a mute on this mic. If I do, it's not what it's supposed to be. Okay, that's weird. Right. Oh God, there's a big flock in. Ask Kestrel. Okay. Two. 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 A two. Two and a two. Really? Mostly twos. Right, we'll wait till these lot land. Come on, you guys, land already. That 
see land in the other field. No, you landed pretty close. You landed a bit close. You landed on the other side of that, which is annoying. Just within range, just within range. Just within range, right. I think one went down. <laughs> I'm not sure. God damn it. Might aim that off today. Because it is, I'm just going to go turbo onto the coast and let's just shoot the mother like. Okay, so I hit two of them. One went over this. Well, one's there. I'm not sure if this is the same one or different. Now that is definitely the first one, right? We've got one. Which was a silver. And let's find the silver one, which we know we hit. find it. There we go. Right this way. No. Don't get distracted by us. Find the ones you shot. And then we'll go from there. Well, this was me in blood flow. It should have gone about the same distance, maybe a bit closer. What the bloody hell did it get? Don't say I got stuck in a tree. Don't think it did, but I just can't. No, oh, there's the blood spot for it. God damn it! Ah, there it is in the field. <laughs> I've all that. It's right there. Oh, I keep saying I want to change my maps, but I can't really. There we go. I should have brought the 2 to LR with me just in case. Oh well. Or at least a 1 to 2 gun. Oh, class 1. Got the weight lock on me, which is a 2 to 6. But. Oh dear. Canadian goose show, who would have thought? Uh, 
That's a Kestrel. Oh, but it's a bit of brain anyway. So where's those Canadian gives that? We just had to do a call. We've got two. Should have a third somewhere, maybe. No, better probably. Nah, okay, so... That might be the one. Bit of prey, and uh, what are you? Okay, three twos, okay. It's not... Is it now time for road deer drinking? I think it is. And they're usually a bit late into their zones, so... Let's quickly check. Where is the... There we go. That's will give me an idea. Okay, we'll wait. We'll try and shoot a few more Canadian geese, then we'll do some... Uh, shooting at some lakes. That's just AI. Yeah. Okay, where'd my Canadian geese go? Hello? Oh, there you are. You gonna land for me then? Thank you. And the one's right next to me, and I didn't realise that. Shoot. The other one got away. At least these two went dead in the tracks straight away, so good news for me. Bad news for them. There's a female. Look at that, trying to get off. Female. I'm rarely pulling in the area. I kind of do want to bring out a dog, well, I kind of do want to get a dog just to retrieve the animals for him back to me a bit easier. It saves me on to walk out and back again. didn't indicate that you came in. Why? Why did you guys not indicate you're coming in? Why have you flown off from over there somewhere? Sometimes they do land over there and I don't know about them ones. All the ones up over there. Right, let's see. Have these ones actually just flown off? Yeah, they have. Maybe. Yeah, they have. God damn it, I should have shot them while they're in the air. Never mind. Let's wait a moment. Never know. Let's see, what's the time? What's the time? That's rocks and a bit of a tree. Oh, there we go. What we got? Got a two. Got a three, got a two, and got a two. What else we got? A two and a one. Hmm. 
<laughs> because they see with their little geese binoculars. It's possible. In Graves' case, it's because he hates the Canadian <laughs> geese. Ah, let's keep an eye on that three. That's the one we need to keep an eye on. That's the highest one out of the lot. It's not damning potential, but it's the higher one out of them all. And what are you? Are you by yourself landing? You are. There's the three, there's the two. Right. I need to try and shoot. That three and shoot that two if I can hit them. Nope. <sighs> My aim's off. I don't do well with flying foul. <laughs> but hit the three. At least I hit the three. I'd be shocked if this made a bloody diamond. That's a gold. I hit it twice. One bullet. I'm actually surprised I made a gold though. Let me just still shot that freezer making gold. Well, I'm not really surprised actually. I'm just surprised how high they can be on the golds, I should say. I'm afraid I'm just surprised how high their freeze can be on the gold. And how low the fours have been so far. If I get a four, that's a diamond, it's great. I need to get that one out of the way with, but right, what's the game time? Alright, got a few minutes in game. Let's see if they come in or not. That's just AI. And we'll go shoot some road it. For the drink time. I haven't really shot a lot of road here, so I'm not sure where all the drink times are. So we're going to check this side. See if we can see any. Oh, I don't know. This should be some there, some there, some there. Let's see. Should be some in them two spots. So, hmm. Is that a sec now coming along Canadian geese? So there's a bit of prey around here. <laughs> and now that's gone into AI mode. Weirdly enough. They're just AI. Have to, right, let's go check some of these lakes. Let's go do some road deer shooting. Let's go over here and check this way around. There's nothing great, we'll go around the other side. To the other few places. I'm not exactly sure what's around these spots. I just found the zones and that was it. And this is during when I was doing the recordings for the episodes. Saying that I need to get on top. Uh, as a point, I need to get on top of that later on because I haven't sorted them out for tomorrow's lot. Oops. Or was it today's lot? I don't think I had an episode out today. I've got to sort them all out. Um. Wow. Well. Or well, did I have an episode out today? I can't remember. Ah, eh, if needs to be, I'll sort them all out. <sighs> Later on tonight. Get the thumbnails done so they're all sorted. I may have forgotten a day. Oh well, it's not a bad thing. Gives my channel a slight rest from everything else that I've been doing, I guess. <laughs> Whoopsie! It's possible I may have forgotten about today's one. It's fine. Like I say, I'll just get the episode sorted out later on. Right, 
Right, let's look for this free difficulty road here. Don't get me wrong, twos can make it, but threes are more of a guarantee. Even though threes can troll. Look, we had a warning call from here around this. Where are you? Never mind, look, I'm going to be right on top of it and then it's going to flee right from me. Is that no, that's just a female. If it's just a female, I'm not going to worry too much. There you go, run. About her. Is there any that side? I don't see it. Need? Do I see it that way? That's a warning call. Is that in the tree line? It's just in the bloody tree line. I don't believe this is up that way somewhere. Difficult to tell. That's a female. No surprise there. <sighs> Apparently he's fleeing, so I can't tell what the bloody hell he is. Couldn't also see what it was either, so. Still gotta go all the way over there. <sighs> right. Come on, Wes, we need to make it all the way over there. Uh We've got bison down here. Usually they're not down here this time. Okay, you might be the one that fled from me then. From over here. It's possible. Yeah, that's possible. That's the female that fled. Okay. My throat, and I hate it when I get a bit too hot because I start coughing a lot, even though I'm freaking freezing. That's a four. Okay, I'll have to remember about him. If I see a five or something, I'm gonna be niffed. Couldn't spot that one. There's a two. Why are they down here? They shouldn't be down here drinking, though. Weird. What were they doing down here? Well, you're nothing special, so you can fling it out of here. See what these tracks say. Nothing new. Okay. Oh. Drinking. Oh, so they haven't left their drink zone just yet. Oh, hello, Rover. Oh, at least I know there's an interesting four down here. That's one thing, I guess. <laughs> oh, hello. 
Well, you're a class 9, so I can't really be shooting you whenever I go up to a class 6. Should have brought some shotgun rounds with me for it. And that's the four. <coughs> Don't get peeved at me. Don't get peeved at me. Don't get peeved. Look, are you going to make it up to where you need now? Okay, well, I'm going to go around you then. Maybe not. I'm going to have to go down here. There's any way around for me to go. Oh, dear. Right, here we go. Let's have a look over. I can't believe it. I've actually forgot to put an episode out today. Oh well, it's only the first episode of Medbed, so it's not going to be a huge problem. That's a one. That's a two. There we go. He did go down, which is awesome news. And he went in the bloody water, of course he bloody did. What we got? We got a one. You know, you're floating very, very slowly. Makes my job very, very hard. And that's a gold. And that's not big enough. Hold on, how do we hit the... What? I hit the lung, but I also hit the... How? How did I hit the lung and the leg when the bullet's over... Was it after... Sh you know what, I'm not even going to ask. I'm not even going to ask how that even makes sense. I'm going to question it, but... How? How does that hit the lung, but also hit the leg? What? Hey, just a female, I'm not worried about you. Go on, get out of here. Go on. Yeah, as they say. Yeah. Nah. Oh dear. I'll check around this like a little bit more. Skill. <laughs> I did it with skill, is that it? Oh, I don't know. I'm I'm still more curious to how that's even possible. It's like a trick shot in it from the lung into the bone. It's like ah oh. oh god. Yes, the bullet rebound off its lung because it was a stone inside and hit the bloody bone of the leg. Oh my god, I'm getting stuck everywhere. Let's inspect this. A written note. Oh, okay. I don't. I don't really want to have to go all the way around this lake. I'm gonna be honest. Seems like a pain just to try and check. Let's see how much more of this lake I gotta check. Uh, apparently, there's one up there, though. Apparently, there's one there. Look, I've only seen the one female so far, and then that's it. I think this is more of a female lake than a male lake, so I'm not going to worry about it. That's what somebody's going to say. But there could be one down there. Yeah, there probably could be one, but... The look I'm having at the minute is just not great. So... Bison road here, road here. Right, we'll go to that lake first. Ah. <sighs> 
the last few times I checked this before, I don't remember seeing anything that was a free. So, it should be good. Let's check somewhere else. <laughs> Come on. Come on, game. Don't think there's anything down here special. Don't think there's anything special on the other one. <sighs> then again, I haven't really been road deer hunting on this map. To be honest, I don't hunt road deer at all on this game. <laughs> right, should really try and do some rabbit shooting at some point again. Eh, that's fine. To get close to be able to see what you are if you're a male or a female. I can't tell without the perks and skill points. In fact, perks and skills, I can't tell where. What are you? You are a female. I'm not going to worry about you then. How it was able to even tell, I have no idea, but it was. You know, I was bloody crouched at that time, so unless I'm making a load of loud noises without knowing about it. I don't know. Red deer. Not gonna really worry about you. You know, technically you are pretty close. Ah, oh, there you are. Why are you? Seven. One. That's a one. Why am I finding just females everywhere? Where's my males? Why have I hardly got any males on here? How is going on with this game? First map. This way somebody turns around and says, Oh, you need to shoot the females to really get the males to respawn. I'm like, what? What? Not a possibility that I know of anyway for this, but goddamn road is. Oh dear. I should really set up a tent on my farm and field. Because <laughs> you can hunt Canadian geese and some roe deer in the daytime. But, nah. And when I mean farm and field, I mean. This. Is it this one? No. Where is it? This one. You do get Canadian geese around this end, and you get quite a few road deer around this end. But Canadian geese are usually on all three of them fields. But I ain't done a setup over there. Don't get me wrong, I could. It's just it's a pain having to drag everything up there, set it all down, and go back, re get everything, come back up again. So, oh, no. Acknowledged. I should really bring a gun for. Hunt and bison just in case. Well, which way? To the left or to my right? I 
see a female. God damn it. I just seem to have a map full of females more than anything else. Where are my males? Where are my male road here? What the hell? Why are you travelling for? You should already be at a drinking zone. Or at least really close to one. Uh, it's just kind of sus on the game. So no, I'm surprised I haven't checked over at... Let's zoom in out real quick. This like over here. Did I have any over here? Road deer wise or have I not checked? There is road deer over there. Okay. Go check that lake. If we ever go for bison, I'll probably do Silver Ridge Peaks, but it means no one can shoot the bears. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Especially after doing a great one black grind. <laughs> great one black bear grind. God damn it. That's going to be fun. I haven't shot black bears in a while, actually. Yeah, if anyone who comes on the map, they will not be allowed to shoot the bears unless they're over in a certain area and they're in the daytime. Oh, God. That's going to be a harsh rule to impose on people. I'll have to join somebody else's map. I guess Graves' map will have to do. <laughs> Just because he hasn't set one up. Oh dear, that's terrible. <sighs> Maybe I could just say there's only a hunting time between this for Black Bear and that's it. And it has to be in these lakes. Like, what? Why? Because I've got the great one grind set up for it. Shouldn't bear anywhere else, we'll just destroy it. I suppose some people say, well, don't host the map before it then, I'd be like. Ah, dear, anyway. Come on, where is. Come on, there should be road here on this lake. Where are they? Female. That gives us one answer. Oh. Female. What is all my lakes I'm just females? Where are the males? I'm getting kind of concerned that I've only got females. <sighs> Ready game, you, you're doing this to me. Why? What have I done to deserve this? What have I done? I know I've got red deer there. I know I've got red deer. One, two lakes. Nothing around there. Nothing around there. Nothing really on them bits. Oh, yeah. huh, I do have road deer over here. Okay. Do I have road deer marked on this one as well? Red deer. Red deer and bison. Okay. Let's go over to here. And let's see if I can find any road here. Because I mean, road here seems to be a little bit iffy at the minute. I don't know why. It's not like I've purposely gone out and shot them, though. Interesting, though. No, somebody's going to say, what are you using the weight lock for? Just why is you something different? What? I like the gun. Right. 
That's nice point. I need to make sure I get some more ammo for this gun at some point. I'm running a little bit low. Saying that, I should really bring a tent over this location, make it a little bit easier for me not having to run to it. There's no point me putting a tent over at the minute if I don't know if there's any um, <laughs> males everywhere or not. Since most of the lakes we have checked, even from last week, we didn't really see many male locations. This is really worrying. It's actually very disturbing that there's not many male locations on the map for me. I'm kind of worried about that. Yeah, it's fine if you flee bison. It's not like I'm shooting a five. It'd be funny if we find a fucking <laughs> five European bison. They'll be like, well, need to go back and grab the gun now. This person says, why don't you always go prepared? I usually do, but I'm not really shooting for them, so that's why I've not brought them. If we find a bus, that'll be great! Especially if it's a five. Yeah, not worry about you. It's not like I can see you through the tall trees anyway, so not worried about it. There's two red deer. Any males? No. No. Okay. Alright. Alright, this is now going to give me some idea if there is any or what road difficulties are on this lake. We know there are a few, but I'm not exactly sure what they are at the minute. So, let's have a look. On what do we have here, if anything at all? Why is it there's just females on this lake and nothing else? I'm not joking, this is becoming a little bit disturbing that all I'm mostly finding is females and no males. There's a one. There's a female. The other one. Well, come on, we had a s spot bug. Just don't. Okay, so I need to leave them two ones because then it should give me a high chance of possibly a diamond potential or three. Because I can only shoot at the difficulty twos. Unless I find the three, then I can shoot the three, but. Difficulty one, there's no point. Okay, so the first lot of males we do find in a pack and with a pair is difficulty ones. That's just great news. It's not, it's terrible. One female. A one female. A two, okay, a one. A one female, so we do have a two. female. God damn. Okay, so we do have a two male which is over there. Jeez, I've got to make a shot from f of 300 meters. I'm not sure how good this bullet is though for the gun. What does it say? 75. God damn it. This is not good. I need 
test this at a shooting range first, I won't let's go back there. Hit him. Why him? I have no idea. Unless he goes down, which I think he's going to. Maybe. I'll soon see when we get over there. He hasn't gone down, so I don't think it was a vital hit. I just hope it didn't turn out he would have been a diamond because if he was, I'll be bloody annoyed. I'll be fuming. Well, oh yeah, we didn't see Graves' trophy lodge, did we? Oh. That's fine, I've got to sort that out tomorrow. Oh, it's going to kill me. I forgot to do that early hours. <sighs> God dang it. No, he did go down. Right, we'll go see what it was. There's a non vital organ hit though, which is bad. And that's a female. Oh, it's in females. And how's Kevin Pie? Stop stressing. How am I stressing? It's gonna say I'm not stressing. Where does this one go? I'm not sure which way he went. He went somewhere. Oh, there he went. He went over this way. <coughs> Ow! The hell? Dang row, oh dear. Fight something behind me then. Where did he go? He went that way. There we go. Right. Well, that's a very low bleed rate. Okay, let's have a look. See what we've got. Skis. No, it's just it. Ah, oh, was a silver. We hit him in the back spinal area. Oh, it wasn't bad for a distance shot, though, considering. Should have been a bit more lower. Wouldn't have been able to tell fully anyway, so. Right, anyway, let's see, where are we on the map on this game? Well... Can't really tell what's around there. Can't really tell at all. Right, so, how much time we got on the game? 
that much. Now I really can't tell what that is. Because he's on with some spot. So I'm going to go back to... the outpost and go down to this waterway and see what we've got down here and hope for the best I don't know, I think it's just gone goofy there we go and Make sure that's on there. Right, so here we go. I'll go for a bit longer on the stream. Alright, let's see what we can find. Let's see if we can find a need zone. Or a free diff no, difficulty free. Could be worse, at least I'm not haunting the other Ibex. That would be irritating. Saying that, I do have a tent on that hill, even though I don't think the road deer are going to be up there. Hmm. Yeah, they could be at the bottom of that one. Around that lake, so I found an albino female. And again, I didn't see any male around there when I threw the mission. Hmm, it's fine. I'll go check after we have check this lake, see if there's any road deer down here. I'd be surprised if there isn't actually, because obviously the lake over there has road deer. So hopefully there's road deer here. I wonder if there's any around near that lake though, or even that one. Well, I know there is road deer in that area. Come no on. Going down the hills a bit more. <sighs> Come on. I should see the antler. And I don't see the antler. Can't suss on that one again. May have run instead. Oh well. Right. Do we have any. We do. <gasps> yes! It's a free! We found my diamond road deer. Well, hopefully it's a diamond. As long as I don't screw up the shot and I don't scare it. <laughs> I want to get closer. I do not want to screw this up because, again, I am not sure on the range for this gun fully. Without perks and skill points being on, so I need to get a bit closer. I don't believe that. I finally made it down here. Found a free diamond potential. Let's go. I should have done a bit more practice shooting with it, but I've been trying to just find a road here so I can just shoot. It's like. So I just want to get a bit closer. A 
should be close enough. Yes! Wasn't a screwed up shot. If that had gone down quickly enough, I would have been annoyed. I was kind of thinking, I missed, messed the shot up. I'm like, hopefully I got the right distance. Went down quickly enough. Should have been a long shot. Should be a long shot. I should have aimed a bit more higher. But I aimed a bit low. Don't know why, but I always seem to aim low on my shots, which is weird. I shouldn't be doing that. Should make sure I aim high. Right. So, is this going to be a diamond or a troll? Let's guess, guys. And hopefully this spawns out in the open so we can actually see. And these guy, guys can try and make a guess. I'm not joking, I want you guys to try and see if you can make a guess of what this should be. Is it a diamond or a troll? <coughs> So, what? No, oh, we're not going to really get a great view, are we? It's going to be difficult to be able to see, so unfortunately I'm not going to wait for you to be able to say. Well, I could actually, but the strawberry's in the way. It doesn't help. I'm going to guess diamond, because it was free and the antlers look a bit big. So, diamond. And it's a diamond! Woohoo! Awesome, right, taxi demo that before anything goes wrong. Awesome. We got a diamond road here. Don't know why I did that, like, road deer. <laughs> Must be in trouble. <laughs> if it was a troll throat in the river. Look, if it was a troll, I'd have eaten it for breakfast, but it's a diamond, so we taxied it, and we got it saved. Awesome. It's a pretty good score as well. I'm not sure if it's if it was Max. I'll ask Graves to check at some point. Well, I might. I could have screenshot it just in case. Oh, well. yay! We got Diamond Road dipped. <laughs> I wasn't exactly sure what I was hunting, so that's why it's like hunting. So we got the Diamond Road dip. Right, let's quickly go to the Trophy Lodge, and we need to go to that one now. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. If it does, guys, I do apologise. But thank you to everyone for being here. So let's go check the lodge out and let's get this in. I would say sometimes the game does crash and the stream will end when the game crashes. But I'm hoping it doesn't do that. Please don't crash. Please. But if it does, I do apologise for the stream abrupting about my saying goodbye. I know I've had it a few times before. But we need to put this up in the lodge so it's all there. Right. You know, the more of this I'm filling up, the less I have to actually shoot to try and get in. It's going to be all the smaller ones and the difficult ones to try and find. It's it's going to be difficult for the last few. Rabbit's going to be a pain. Sorry, I've said that a bit loud then. Sorry. So I think the rabbit's going to be a bit of a pain to try and find. Canadian geese, we've got to wait for them to come in. Red fox can be a bit of a problem. So, and Roosevelt elk. Got that one to do. Right, let's put our trophy up. Road here. Alright, which There we go. Look at that beauty. Awesome. So yeah, like I say, the ones we've got left is European rabbit, a white tail jack rabbit, European bison, Roosevelt elk. Again, bison can take a bit of time. Rabbits are going to be a huge pain to do. Elk shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm saying it shouldn't. Uh, wild boar. We've also got the pheasant. Canadian Goose, 
Well, they got the coyote and the red fox. So, do I want to hunt Canadian goose back while I was shooting? I think I'm going to have to go back to H farm for a bit and just do a bit more shooting for Canadian geese or goose. But yeah, the uh, lodge is coming together. Well, I think it's coming together pretty well and nicely. Obviously, because we've got the empty one down here, that's why I've got my um, diamond. Alligator. I had to think then. <laughs> Even though technically I'm going to have to technically shoot. Well, I want to put some wood there, but I think it's only like. Is it a raccoon dog or common raccoon that goes with that? Or is it the. Yeah, if I remember rightly, it's the uh, common raccoon or raccoon dog. It's one of the bloody two that goes with it. Which means a Mississippi hunt. Ugh, I hate Mississippi. Right, so. I'm now going to have to go back to Hishfelden. Where's Hishfelden? There it is. <laughs> Somewhere on the map. <laughs> Yay, we've got a road here. That one's ticked off the map. Well, I say ticked off the map, ticked off my hunting schedule. Got a road here. At least I can finally say I got one diamond today. Which on the stream. Yay! It's not always the case. Sometimes we have some days where we just don't see a single bloody one. But yay, got a diamond road, oh dear. Awesome. Right. Diamond road here marked. Right. So we've already got the road here. I need to switch a gun out. And then technically, I've got my bird shooting guns. Oh my god, this wants to be a pain. Right, so, quest. That's to do with bows at the minute. Main. <sighs> right, I'm going to take the 2 2 LR out on my main shooting lot just in case. And where's the 10 gauge? There's the ten gauge. Alright, let's grab the bird shot. Let's remove the two to LR. Ten gauge rounds. I need the sights for it. So I'm gonna need my that one and that one. Of course. Of bloody cause, the guns decided, no, we're not going to save it like that, we're going to glitch you out. God damn it. Right, save the load up, right. Get to that, make sure the guns are all there, which they are. Go into the loadout. Yay, and some of the stuff's not there, I think. I don't know. Right, shotgun. Out there quickly, and we'll put that side on there. Good things come to the patient, yeah. And people think I stress, I'm not stressing, I'm just trying to find them again. If I don't know the need zones, it's a bit irritating to find the need zones, but right. So let's go back and do some more goose shooting. Let's hope for the best. I know someone's going to be like, why are you goose shooting? Because I still got to get the goose. Don't get me wrong, I've still got bison to shoot, I've still got pheasants to shoot, wild boars to shoot, which are mostly on this map. Even red foxes on this map, so, you know, it might be lucky. I'm not going to guarantee we're going to sit here, but, you know, never know. 
Uh, I want to get a goose here. I know I've had one on Revan to the coast, but like I say, anytime I'm hosting the stream, well, anytime I'm streaming and I'm on Rev, it just seems to lag quite a bit on the game. It might be my console's not keeping up, or it's just if I'm hosting it or whatever, I'm not sure. But, you know, it happens. Gamers do what they do best because of what they want to do. Oh. Anyway. At least I can safely say I got my roe deer. Finally. Technically, we would have had the roe deer and pheasant about a month ago now if it weren't for Graves already shooting one on uh, Quadra Cleanness. Even though a bit beforehand I did shoot one for a mission of the road here and I shot a pheasant on this map ages ago a long time ago and hello to Alsha game over what do you mean game over I found a diamond I think for when I'm shooting on one of these, I need to bring a, a dead retriever. Even though I'm not using the dogs anyway for the series and that lot, but... <laughs> oh, that's a big flop. It's got two... two... Really? That's what they most have in that lot. Crumbs, I don't know which ones I Well, there isn't really a lot out of that big flock of high levels, just all lows. It's kind of worrying. Yeah, I'll work to that island and just stop by and wishing you a great game. Oh, thank you, Asha. Well, hopefully you enjoy yourself and hopefully you're having a good day. And they're too bloody far. I've got to wait till they get closer because they're too far for me to shoot. No, the shotgun has a range of 100. That's just within the 100, but I want to try and shoot multiple ones of them, so. Oh, what's that running? It's a wild boar. So wild boar, wild boar, wild boar, wild boar. Really low levels, no high levels out of wild boar. Interesting. Plus we've always been down now, I can double check what they all are now. Fucking low levels, what the hell? Not a single high level Canadian goose, what the frick? Why? What's going on with my geese today? How oh, well. Uh, shotgun, here we go. Wow, I feel like I needed a different scope on it. There we go. That's a messed shot. I don't think I hit that one, no. One call from a pheasant? Really? But you're all the way over there. How am I supposed to see you in the other fit? Oh, there you are. Just say, how am I supposed to see you when you're all the way over there? But that's the female, where's the males? And they're flying. Oh, of course they're bloody flying. And I can't spot them when they're flying. <sighs> I hate them. I hate pheasants. <laughs> Especially you got to shoot them when they're in the air. <coughs> Not the greatest of that. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, need to turn the heat off now. That's too hot. 
I'm burning up a bit. <laughs> oh, I'm hot stuff. <laughs> yes, we've got that rest time now. Even though I destroyed the need zones. Yes, there, there, resting. Is that all the way of her there? No, it's just me seeing things. And what do we have? Five, six of them all together, okay. I just want to land in front of me here. Oh, hold on. No, that's not one that I killed. Okay. See, in some ways, I'd just use the retriever dog just to go grab him and bring him back, but I'm not worried about that in a minute. Why do I fill up this more now? Come on, you just land your dopey things. You're gonna land over there again, aren't you? Yeah, far as much. Gonna wait till they get a bit closer. So I'm just trying to shoot a few. You are way too far out. Yeah, my bots aren't gonna reach you. They might reach you too if I shoot. I kind of want them to cluster up a bit so I can shoot them. There's a two, and there's a one. Let's see. These are within range. You're within range, even though I only get maybe one or two shots off. I'm not that great with the shotgun. I'm not going to lie. Got you out there, that's two again. No, you're not. You're just a bird, Kestrel. Well, while they're flying around, let me go pick these ones up. I'm happy I got my road here today. That's one ticked off the list. <laughs> Not that I have a list written down. Ground Bray. Or Grey Brown, I should say. Hybrid Brown. I have no idea what the rares would be for this slot. I really should have a list just in case. Grey Brown. Uh, where was the. Ah, there's the other one. Shot you before you even took off. I hit that one in the liver. Yeah, great. Okay. <laughs> and by and have a great night, even uh, in one you. <laughs> well, it depends how you look at the time, really, in the world. <laughs> uh, thank you, I'm sure for stopping by. And been in for a little bit. What, why am I getting the knee zone again when I've already got the knee zone? There we go, down to four of them now. And here's another flock coming in. Great. It's weird. Grey's been with me, not as many. Grey's not been with me, quite a few. Weird. It does happen though. Right, come on, you geese, just land already. I say that, and they still don't land straight off the bat. Right, my gun is loaded. Awesome. No, I haven't carried a shotgun on this game in a while for myself as a character. I usually carry the 2-2 LLR with me all the time. 
Not gonna lie, ten gates have been really good. How did these all fly off? What? Why? Why are you flying off for? Not going balmy, am I? They haven't landed up me yet about it, have I? No? Okay. Oh, yes they have. Right over there. They're waddling their asses in. You're in range. You're just out of it. And you are a little bit far. Landed a bit far from me, but that's fine. Because they are actively plotting. Yes, they're actively plotting to find a way to kill Graves without me knowing about it. <laughs> Graves being nearby, they're like, hmm. <laughs> we can't really do anything. He's too close. <sighs> I might only just get the one shot off on this. I'm not sure if I hit the second one or not. I definitely know I hit the first one. Get a bit back this way. Let's see if we've got a bleed spot or not. We do, so he should have gone down. Unfortunately, I'm not sure what his bleed rate was. There we go. Medium. So he shouldn't have gone too far. Pretty sure he did it. Oh, by the looks of that, he should have. Oh, he didn't go too far. Oh, he actually fell. Sweet. Oh, she fell, I should say. <laughs> there we go. I thought it flew off more than anything else, but okay. <laughs> I'm mistaken. Right. Kind of weird though, that they're just more active now for down here. <laughs> oh, so I need to restore out the hunting area for up the top end. Cause, don't get me wrong, they're landing absolutely fine. It's just they're landing on the other side of the bloody hill part, and it's like it's not a good view. So I might need to set up even on that bit, which is a big open area, or on here, which is a lot more even for geese shooting. So I'll figure that out. I'm not going to do it on the stream, there's no point. Don't get me wrong, I probably could sort it out and it wouldn't take me too long. But it's just a pain to do. Oh, let's wait a moment, let's see if any come in or not. Is that AI? No, they are actually flying over. What are you? You're a two. You're a... You're AI. So the two came into play. Awesome. But they're AI, which is weird. 
Yes, we're going to have them all fly, but we're only going to give you the one. That's a kestrel. Or a bird of prey. Could be a pheasant. <laughs> pheasant. Freaking hell. I can't fucking pronounce the names. No. I'll just say kestrel. It's a lot easier. I was going to say hawk, actually, but I think it's a, if I'm not mistaken, it's a kestrel, anyway. Alright, come on, you, land. want to destroy you, then we can get the whole flock. Or a new flock, I should say. Come on. Land already. Look, I will use a 2 4 3 on you if you don't come down there soon. No, I won't. I'll use a shotgun as long as it's close enough. Come on. You still take a bit of time to come in. I'm not going to lie. I'm surprised we've got one that's just by itself. So uh, we've had more luck with high levels of being at the higher part. There's another two. I'm going to have to wait for them both to land. Or do I just shoot the one? Thought I'd try. <sighs> no idea where the bullets went anyway afterwards. What goes up must come down. Bird mystery. Yeah. Kind of makes me want to go and sort out the other hunting thing now. You know, I'm going to go do that. Didn't want to, but I'm going to. Let's go resort it out. Let's go put it on this open field to make it a bit easier to shoot. Because being where it is, it's just terrible. I'm not gonna lie, it's bloody horrible. I don't like it. I don't want to be able to shoot and not worry about it being in a bloody ditch somewhere. But god damn it. So I need to save the loadout, grab the tent loadout, go down, grab what I need, come back, grab what I need. <laughs> God damn, it's a lot of switching. I say I wasn't going to do it, but you know what, bugger it. I'm going to get someone going, oh, you need to go hunt over there. You do have high levels over there. Yeah, I know I do. Problem is, it's not always a good thing. It's just worse when you can't see what they are. Right. Oh. Oh, sweet. I did save it. Right, let's get the tent set up so I can go grab what I need. Be in the hunting stand and the geese. Yep. Right. Uh, we're going to place them in this field because that field's a lot more open spaced than anything else. And. As I'm on the way down there, I can actually place a tent 250 meters away, which will make my life a little bit easier. Back her off. Uh, if we see a fireball soon, I'm just going to be irritated as anything. See what I mean about there being higher levels than anything else? See? Two threes out of that lot. Well, we've had fours when we've been over as well, so it's uh, a little bit concerning. Well, I'll say concerning, just a little bit annoying. Um, Let's see. Or should I do two setups? One in that field and one in that field? No, I'm not sure. Hmm. Uh, let's 
see any. Oh, no, I don't. There's a two, there's a two. There's a two. See, look how many of these there are already. Not a solo flux. But as you guys have seen, hunting in this field isn't exactly one of the best ideas because of these hill parts. Actually, let's just check both these fields and then I'll make a decision which one to go with. I might go with both. I might just go with the one. But this one's not great because of this hill on both parts. It's just irritating. Let's grab you. No, not the tent. So we do go for that field. I'm going to have to place a tent nearby. Wow, that's actually the lowest road I've seen in a very long time. A free. God damn. I know geese usually just come here anyway, normally in the game. So it's not a huge big deal. Just by using the decoys, it makes them go to where I want them a bit easier. Right, should have ten of each of them. Good, right. I'm going to need to check this field real quick and see. Just kidding, I might do one here and one over there. I need to make sure there's a tent nearby for the one on my left more than this one. Again, see. Could always have a hunting stand in this field just in case, so if I want to shoot anything, I can. See, it's open space, and I like that. Let's place a tent down. Let's get some more decoys. Why not? Seems we are here. There we go. I guess if I do it. I'm going to be over, aren't I? Need to make sure that I've got seven of each. And then one. No, hold on. Here we go. Right, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. That's twenty one. I know it's one extra, but it's fine. At least it leaves me one area to go to, and then I'm going to go for one over this way. Technically, they're going to contradict each other because they have a range of, what was it, 500 meters? Yeah, which is a bit bad. So. That. Technically, with it being geese, I shouldn't need to worry too much about there being a tent nearby because you're not going to get disturbed because of me spawning in on a tent. That's animals. So, technically, I should. Let's do that just in case. I'll test anyway. Let's put more over there. 
this side. Let's get about a good 50 meters away from that. Hang stand. Up there, right? One, two, three, four, six, and number seven. Technically, I've got two locations that I'm hunting from. Now we can test see which one's better. If one takes them, that means I just need to remove the uh, decoys from the other. Meh. That's one way of doing it. Right. Let's go to nine in the morning. Let's see which one's going to be better. Let's go with this field. Don't think the tent's going to affect them too much because obviously it's not really to do with spawning in as it is to them being caught in by a decoy. If the tent does affect the mob, we'll just remove the tent and then uh, just get it up so I can just pick up the tent when I need to. Are they coming in? No, they're just flying over. There is. <laughs> what? <laughs> a mating call from a fallow deer in the sky? I'm worried about that one. At least we can see over there if they do land over there. If not, I'd have to remove the tent and just have a setup where if I, where I can pick up the tent. Now, technically, I'm just shooting birds, so I could just get the birds shoot out a lot and then just pick up the tent. A bit bad thing. Might take a moment. Hear them, but I don't see them. Again, am I because I've got two sets? Maybe I can move that tent. Oh, hold on. Well, that's one of the answers. We know exactly where they're going to be going, more than anything else. Over that side. It's not a helpful game. Okay, because the decoys are over there. They're going to that one first. Look at that free. Okay, well that answers the question, which one they're going to go to more. Whether the decoys were placed first. Okay, so if I pick them decoys up, I'll just have these two stands in the air. See, makes no difference having the tent here. Okay, let's go pick this lot of decoys up. And then we'll go to the other location. On the tent there. Tent there. We'll go to the other setup and we'll go do some shooting on that one. At least I know which one they're landing at, which is a good thing. Pretty sure they would land over here if I removed the other decoys, but. Just means this setup's gonna be for hunting.
You know, in fact, the now is going to be if they just come in regardless of where the tent is. Like, I mean, decoys are, but like, goddamn it. There we go. I picked it up that time. Goddamn geese, goose, moose, big fat loose. Anyway, whichever. Yeah, I might change that to actually a um, uh, hunting blind, hunting. No, I'll go the stand. It's a bit easier. At least I can still see. some testing to see how long it takes them to land but at least this is a lot more open and it's not hilly the slopes basically come down to me <laughs> it's not like I've got to look over the other side or something <coughs> which again is bonus it's a female fallow Tent's got to be over 100 then, if I look at that. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see how long you're going to take to bring me some victims in, if any at all. Or do I have to put more down? I don't know. <laughs> One of the two. We'll soon see. <sighs> well, we'll see for the next few minutes, and I'll probably end the stream soon. And hello to Erica. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a good day today. I was going to say, it's been a while since we've seen you in the stream. So hopefully you're doing well, and hopefully if... Well, hopefully you're feeling well, and hopefully you're doing well as well. Oh, there's a pheasant. Okay, well... I'm not really worried about a two. I'd be more worried if it was a three. Look, if the other decoys were working, how come you guys are not... Look, we've set up the tent. You guys had interest. I moved the other ones. And I, here we go. Ha. Ah. <laughs> Howdy. Oh dear. Right, let's. That's AI. I've seen right ones as I say. And now I've got another flock in there. Okay, there's the three. That's a bloody kestrel. God damn it. Right, let's see whether these guys land. At least we know this setup is absolutely fine. I've got wide open space. I'm near the trees, so I'm a bit hidden. Well, I say hidden. And it needs to be always got a tent just over there instead of me having to walk all the way to the outpost. <laughs> just waiting for these guys to land now. There we go. No, I'm not landing too far. Not exactly a great distance. Oh, there's a four. Possible diamond. Again, same possible. 
Doesn't mean it's gonna, just say it is a possibility. So I'm happy to go for a four. Well, it went down. I know that for a fact it went down. It's the only time I can tell if it's gone down because of the mark. It's like, yay! Any other time I'll be like, I have no idea. Right, so where did we. We got you. Haha, <laughs> right. Now, where did you run off to? <laughs> Ah, you flew this way. Medium. So, shouldn't have got too far. A couple of blood spots, hopefully. Oh no, wait, what? I don't think it turned that way. So, it's somewhere around in this area. Right. I hate when it does that. It's like, oh no, it turned around. It's like, yeah, no, it didn't. So, you know, this is when a bloodhound could be useful, or the retriever. Like, ah, oh, go retrieve! And it's like, he was like, nip. Nope. Nah. Ah, <laughs> oh, goddammit. Come on. Now, we know for a fact it did not do a 180 and go back on itself. No, it's for a fact it didn't go back. Because usually when you get this indicator that you see on the phone, it usually means it's gone down compared to that, which has a big radius. So we know it definitely went down. Compared to that, see? So that means it should have gone down within an area. Pretty sure it flew over this way though when we saw it. Just the one time I hate the game when it's like, oh no, it's gone this way. It's like, no, it bloody hasn't, unless it's got stuck in a tree. Tell for a fact it didn't go over here. Right, your indicator is there, so it's either somehow stuck in a blade tree. Oh, it's gone a bit further than what we think. And this is where I'd prefer to call a mulligan and say, look, I'm going to need to get a dog out because I can't find wherever it's bloody gone. If it's a deer or that, look, I can understand dot, you know, ground animal. Flying animal? No. I've not seen a Canadian goose go, oh, crumbs 180. Look at the air. Come on, there's just no way. Where have you gone? Look, we know for a fact there is no way you've gone back this way. 
Okay, the blood spot is going that way. It's not you'd be out in the field somewhere for me to see, and I would have got you already. Freck is going on. Oh, game, don't do this to me. See, I have no idea where it is, so, yeah. I'm pulling a mulligan. I have no idea where this one's gone, so I need to go get a dog real quick. I'm going to go grab a bloodhound, which is just... Uh, it's it's got to be glitched somewhere, because I can't follow the tracks. I'll delete the dog afterwards. It's the only time when it does something like that. Normally I'd just say screw it and that'll be it, but I need it's a four. I need to make sure this isn't a diamond. What about you, pheasant? Right, come on you, let's get you out. Ah, <sighs> just caught temp. Need to get the dog so I can actually just yeah, good. Right, let's go get whatever's going on. Right, scat. I don't care about scat. Oh. Right, come on, Temp. You need to go find where my thing's gone because this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Didn't want to have to get a dog out, but... It's indicating that it's gone one direction and then another, so it's weird. Right. So we know I shot it. Let's get to the blood. Okay, I'm searching for blood. Go on! Oh my god. Well, thank you for that. Thank you, Temp. Right. Can't believe that. It was a gold. After all of that, it was a gold. Okay, Temp, let's go take you back. Let's get rid of you. Can't be using you. Because as you guys clearly saw, I said back over and We checked over that way a bit. Didn't see it, so it went a bit further than I can see. I wasn't going to waste too much more time trying to look for that bloody thing I wanted to get before the end of the stream. I don't use the dogs at all. It's only the time I use it is if I, I have to put a mulligan and be like, yep, yeah, can't find it. If it was a three or less, I wouldn't give a crap, but because it's a four and has a slight possibility of being a diamond, I need to grab it. All right. So, yeah, we're going to get rid of your temp. We don't really need you anymore. Don't use the dogs in the game. I have them. Don't use them. <laughs> People are like, what? Yeah. Don't use them. I only use them if they have a bug. Right. Tie out. There we go. Dealt with. <laughs> Keep Papa. <laughs> no. Nope. It was temp. Temp's gone. <laughs> it was just a temp. I haven't even thought about having one for the game. I think it makes it a bit too easy. Don't get me wrong, when it's a glitch like that, that is when I'm happy to use a dog. When I can't find it. Because I'm supposed to do it without animal help. <laughs> it's the only time I pull a mulligan. I think throughout the whole entire stream, this is like the second time I've had to pull a dog out. One was the retriever. Because we got a duck that was stuck and glitched out, so couldn't do anything about that. And usually I'd find them, but I could not find that one. So, second time I've had to pull a mulligan. 
for a dog to come out. That's it. So, no, not keeping it. Keep Papa. <sighs> I know. People would prefer me having a dog with me and be like, oh, you're using a dog now. But no. Just you guys want me to have one with me. If I had to get one out, the only one I might get out is the retriever, because all it does is help just grab the animals that are nearby. It saves me time out to walk and grab them. But I'll decide at a later stage if I do or not. But mostly throughout the series, I'm just doing it without the dogs. Without the perks, without the skill points, without anything. Someone's going to say, but you had to use the dog. Yeah, it was a mulligan because I couldn't find it and there's a free. Awesome. But yeah, it'd be the only time I'd use a dog. Just proving the fact you can do it without them. It's just. Sometimes when it does something like that, it's like. Ugh. Plus, it's near the end of the stream, so I just wanted to make sure it wasn't a diamond. And we know it wasn't, it was a gold. <laughs> ah, understandable. Yeah. Like I say. I've been because the dogs, when you have them, they have their own perk system as well, or you know, affiliation system or whatever abilities or attributes, however you want to call them. They have theirs as well. It just makes the game so much. You know, don't get me wrong. There's a good reason to have the dogs. One's because sometimes the animal, you know, going like we just did, it's bugged. You know, it's put the blood splat in the wrong place, or you know, you might want to get your waterfowl that's on the lake and it's taken forever for it to get back. At least with the dog, you can go out and bring it back a bit quicker. Or it might be a glitched in a weird spot or it's out on an island, you know. Send the dog out, comes back, you've got it. You know, they're understandable ones. That they're the mulligans I'd pull. And good reason to have them. But if you're using them constantly, all the time, it just makes the game way too easy. It's no challenge. Don't get me wrong, the retriever is kind of handy because then you don't have to get down and go grab it and come back. You could just stand, well, I could just be standing here, you know, have ten animals out there, dog will bring them back and put them right next to me. Is that actually all next to mine? No, they're not there. Where have they landed? Or are they just... Yeah, there you are. Well, looks like you're going to be my target. I'm going to wait till they get a little bit closer. Then I'm going to try and shoot more for once with the shotgun. <laughs> and then we can end the stream soon. Shit, which one was my number three? I forgot. See, I've heard the retriever. What I'll do is just say, go and fetch, and I'll fetch the animals for me. I'm not sure if I hit the others, it's difficult to tell. You know, hand the bloodhound here, you know, I can say search for blood. Finds any of the blood, I know that. I've downed them. And then you'd find the trail. But anyway, that was the three. Let's pick you up. See, gold, and that was almost higher than the other one. Makes no sense how that's almost higher than the four. Make sure I haven't got any other blood spots around here. I don't see any. But the range to see isn't exactly great. And again, it is wet weather, and I don't have the perks and skills to see in better conditions or see them at a further distance, so. Yeah. It happens. It is what it is. You know, if I do mountain hair hunting, Jesus crump. Well, you've seen me mountain hair I've quite a lot of episodes. It's, it's a, it's a nightmare. To find a diamond mountain hair without perks skill points is just insane. 
can find the need zones, can find them running around in the need zones. Now and again, they might find the footprints, but without the perks and skill points, you just cannot follow a mountain hare at all. You need to have perks and skill points, and this is where I have problems with mountain hare hunting. That's why I've put a pin on it at the minute. I'm just having, like, having a huge break from it. I'm like, Ugh. And we have a roe deer over there. What do we have? I have no idea. Behind the bloody tree, I can't tell, or the rock. Oh, I don't what was that? It was a female. <laughs> At least we found the male today. We got that one off the board. I'm still glad about that. Alright, we'll see what is in this slot. I think it's the lot that I landed earlier, or a moment ago, so... I'm going to change my sights to... That one, the reticle. Makes it a bit easier, and hopefully get a few more shots in. A bit quicker, and then we'll call it that for the stream. Got a bit longer than what I usually do today, but... Meh. Nah. It's fine. The way to these guys land. At least I've got a setup over here, and if needs be, if I want it to move, I'd have to make sure I pick them decoys up and move them over there for more of an open field. So if we have graves next time with us here, I can just move it all over there and be like, right, here we go. Set up a few hundred stands, but like, there we go. Oh, you're a bit close. Is that AI generated? I think that's just AI generated going over that way. No, it's not. Are they coming? Are they going to be coming in, or are they flying away? Apparently, they're travelling. Two frees. There's two frees in that flock, and that's a little bit concerning. If they don't turn around, I'm a bit. I hate when they don't. Hold on. So. So I've got you here, and then I've got... Okay, so I've got you there, you there. And then I've got a flock over there. Oh, hello. Anyone else going to land in? We're calling that it? Why are you in the air? Uh... Yeah, I didn't really like that. So I've got to shoot you and shoot you. If I can shoot you. Ha 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 ha, wrong gun. It's more landing. I have to destroy a whole flock to be able to get them. Right, I'm going to try and shoot two. If I can't shoot a third, I will. I shot you out of the air. I think I shot that last one twice though. I think I shot him over here then when he was going over. <laughs> the other one I wanted to shoot at. Bugger. It happens though. Um, one. Flesh wound. Apparently the bullets went straight over him. But we got him. And then this guy. Oh, did I have a blood spot there? No. Okay. And this guy over here. Oh, he shot him literally as he was flying then. Okay. Yay. 
Usually you can also tell when you're looking at your phone. So if you spot most of them and then you pick one up, it'll tell you if it's um, gone down or not. But yeah, looks like that's what I've got for this. Anyway, right. So guys, thank you to everyone for being here today. Really do appreciate it. Um, hopefully you have all enjoyed. And I really do appreciate for everyone being here. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for being here. Let me just quickly check what them two are. Don't want to end it and then it turns out there's a diamond on at the same time. No, no, diamond. Okay, right. So yeah, thank you to everyone for being here. Really do appreciate it. If you guys have enjoyed today's stream, please do hit the like button. And if you haven't already, but you do keep coming back for more, please do subscribe to the channel. Um, you know, it does help out. Bloody geese. Why? Why do you go over when I'm... I, sh I should not be in this bit when I'm ending the stream. God damn it, there's a free there. Screw you. Right. <laughs> I say, thank you, Tim, for being here. Really do appreciate it. Oh, I've got to check now, and I somebody's gonna be there. Oh, but there could be a five out there. Long and black. God, didn't know they're in. No, see, not there. And there they are. Let's have a look. See, there's a three. Because that one was close, I did a hip fire. God damn it. <laughs> right, let's end the stream. Okay, 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 okay. Let me just pick this one up real quick then. There was a two. It wasn't mine. It's fine. Right, so yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, you've all enjoyed. Um, obviously, I'll be streaming next is Friday, which will be Phasmophobia. I'll be streaming Sunday, which will be obviously Hunter Call the Wild, which is a great one grind for Fallow Deer, which will be at Tiawara, which is the New Zealand map. Um, so I've got to set that all up still, and it's it's still a grind. Yes, on that map I am stacking the diamonds, which means I need 12 diamonds, and I've only got three still. <sighs> yeah, it's it's a pain, and it's annoying, and yeah, it's it's not fun. Damn Canadian geese, will you just stop coming here? Just gonna want to shoot them out of the sky. No, right. Anyway, right. Let's get, let's get out of here so we can just go... Yeah, that's it. Today. Right, so obviously, as you guys know, we finally got the Diamond Road here. Yay! Just have to go for the Canadian Goose. Which, I think with this setup over here will probably be better than the other area. You know, I was doing fine at the other area. I'm not sure what it is when me and Graves have a setup together. I guess I need to have a setup and then he stands in it and he should be fine. But if we're next to each other, it just doesn't work that well. Especially if he sets his stuff up. I think it contradicts my stuff. It's like, oh no, it's great news. It's not. It's horrible. Um, people like you complain. I do. Anyway, I'll let you all get off and enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully, you have a fantastic one. And thank you all for being here. Bye for now, guys, and enjoy the rest of your day.